right now my attention is being focused and directed very strongly, very strongly into the daytime reality. Um, like, like many of you, uh, the activities in the night have slowed down for me and this is what I see as the reason why. Um, the energies working with me simply felt inclined to minimize the nighttime activities so that my um, attention would be uh, more strongly focused into the daytime reality. I remember when I, when I first started to realize that uh, what was happening with me, mm, what some people would call the shift, is more about the daytime reality than anything else. That uh, what I was learning in the night through my out-of-body experiences and astral projections and lucid dreams was applicable and to be applied to my daytime reality. <sighs> About a week ago, maybe more, maybe a couple or a few weeks ago, um, I started experiencing my daytime reality very strongly very unmissably in the same way I experience a lucid dream. With the awareness that the, the world or even just the particular environment I, I happen to be in or location I happen to be in at the time was not outside myself. This is something that you know in a lucid dream because your eyes are closed and you are inside there. <laughs> and uh, I've tried to express to you in a, in a few of the most recent videos that carrying this awareness in the conscious awareness in the daytime reality or beta brainwave is very different than otherwise. Um, it can be something like uh, like living on a boat where um, the ground beneath you is not solid like the earth, but more like water. It's liquid and moving. It can even be more like air or ether, uh, which is even slightly different. But just like you can imagine, like if you were living on a boat, on a still boat in moving water, you know, um, you can get a little dizzy. You know, the stomach can grow to be a little uneasy. Uh, there can be digestive issues. With me, my, my vision can get blurry. Um, it's very blurry right now. Extraordinarily blurry. Um, the space can seem to distort or look a bit warbly. Um, the edges of things can be very blurry. Uh, you can start to feel very sleepy. <laughs> For the past week, I've been very sleepy. Uh, I'm sleepy right now, even though I'm sleeping for extraordinary long periods of time. Um, the anomaly there at the back of my head, top of the neck, is like a, a vortex or vacuum, a strong energy pull uh, there that pulls me in to the inner realms quite, quite often this past week. So I've been 
horizontal quite a lot, unfortunately. I've had the time to be. <laughs> I haven't experienced this degree of sleepiness since the onset of my process approximately two years ago. It lasted uh, for many, many months, but has not been present for a while. Uh, a lot begins happening when I begin experiencing this, and it may be a similar way for you as well. Uh, I'd like to hear from those who have asked about the reduced activity in the night, if you happen to be feeling any of this also during the day, it would give me more of an idea of what might be happening there with you. Um, if it is, and, and really even if it isn't, just be paying attention because as this begins happening, quite a lot is being readied for. I remember uh, last uh, holiday season and approaching the new year, uh, things got very fun for me. And this is when I first began experiencing the levitating and teleporting uh, through simulations in the etheric and astral. And uh, this year, for me, uh, it's a, it's a, a new sort of uh, focus that, that's being worked with. And, uh, for instance, when I'm laying down uh, in the night or uh, practicing in the afternoon, shortly after I lay down, I'm losing the awareness uh, um, of where I am in time. Uh, like, I, I, I'm not immediately knowing if I, it's in the afternoon and I'm in my practice session, or if it's morning and I, I haven't gotten up yet, or if it's the middle of the night. I can't tell, and I don't immediately know. And if I rest in this and don't attempt to search my memory with effort, I begin to know, feel, and experience Myself being lifted outside of time, um, lifted outside of linear time and a linear reality. And so I have a sneaking suspicion that when things begin happening, new experiences begin happening for me uh, in, in the night with OBEs, lucid dreams, astral projections, that they will be related to this, and a stronger sense of it will bleed through into my daytime reality. Remember, we are, many of us, shifting out of the physical reality, shifting into a less physical, more non-physical reality. And for some of this, for some of us, I'm sorry, this will be wholly outside of time. Now this does need to happen from the daytime reality for it to be a full shift. Okay, meaning for the body system to be included in the event. So hold tight. Things are happening. And again, they're happening very fast.